I think we're gonna get there. I don't think high tide's just quite got near yet, so we're a chance. Just wait and give it a push every now and again. See if we get any movement. Just a few more centimeters to do us, I reckon. <laughs> if I'd just gotten it, it's another, you know, moved maybe five more meters out last night, we'd be right. We would be right. Oh well. If we're not going anywhere today, then we're not going anywhere and we'll just go for another walk, relax, take it all in. But it would be nice to do some sailing. I think we're defeated. I think we're staying here another night. The next high tide's at about, I don't know, quarter past seven or half past seven tonight. And I don't really want to be doing some night traveling. We don't need to be. We've got enough food, we've got enough water. So I think we're going to spend another night. We're close to floating, but that's not floating. And we can't push it. We've had a go at that. And I think the high tide has come and gone now, only by a few minutes. So we're gonna spend another day here on South Stradbroke and do a bit more exploring. Let's do that. So near yet so far. Eh, what are you gonna do? Have a cuppa. Have a cuppa. <laughs> <laughs> Going for a beach walk. We're heading up to the very tip of South Stratty. The lagoon up there, have a bit of a look-see. There was a far, I can't think what size it was, far 6,000 or something, I think it was, that sailed past us earlier. The yellow one, if you're watching, hello. I was very jealous because we're beached and you weren't. And I really wanted to go sailing today, but oh well. You win some and you lose some and we'll go sailing tomorrow. Not far off low tide now, maybe only an hour. Pretty popular spot out here. Just give him a pat. <laughs> he can't feel it. Put him down! Is he even alive? Yeah. I reckon there's a walk and track through here. Gajarine nuts. I'm just channeling my inner zen. Just walk fast, okay, I can't feel it. Bit of a shame about some of the rubbish that's left behind. Broken tents and chairs. If you can fit it in your boat to bring it here, you can fit it in your boat to bring it home. Chuck it in the bin. See that? Not old enough, eh? Nowhere near old enough. Some pretty flash boats getting about. Plenty of spots to camp through here. <laughs> Everyone's struggling with the casuarina nuts. 
be hard to walk over in bare feet. My tip, if you're walking this trail or something similar, is to wear some form of shoes. Walking over casuarina nuts with bare feet really isn't the most enjoyable experience. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was just going to be over this dune. So did I. At least we got water this time. We have to do it. What? We've come so far. Although, it doesn't really look like there's an easy, easy path across. Trekking on a mission over to the ocean beach. I feel like we've walked on half a dozen different types of terrain, this sort of open sandy grassy sort of area and then there was that thick grass, there was some shells, just wet sand, dry sand, dunes, pretty changeable just coming through here and it's, I don't know, it's probably only 500 meters or something I suppose. Find any good shells? A few. Oh look at the Gold Coast down there. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the Gold Coast. Straight down here. Ocean Beach. Or the Ocean Beach, I don't know what it's called. So on the east side of South Stradbroke Island now. I find that so difficult to say, South Stradbroke Island. I need to open my mouth more. South Stradbroke Island. G'day mate. I'm on South Stradbroke Island, the eastern beach, and our boat is beached, it's pretty beachy. I think this is going to be far, nicer walk walk. walk. We'll walk up to there and we'll walk around and back down. Oh, okay. Then we don't have to go back across all the shell. The ocean beach made for a pleasant walk on firm sand and was a relief after walking on the casuarina nuts and shells to get here. Pretty much at the northern tip of South Stratty now. You can see some four drives on North Stratty. There you probably can't make it out on camera, it's a little bit too far away. I don't think we're going to go right to the very tip. Because we've got a bit of a walk to do to get back to camp. Coming back around to the western side of Stratty now. Lagoon right at the top. Probably wouldn't make a bad spot to camp really. Although I think where we are probably get more protection from a westerly. It's turned into a fair walk really. And we still gotta get back. I reckon it's a good K and a half back to camp from here, maybe even a little bit further.
The lagoon at the northern end of South Stradbroke Island fills and empties with each tide, so while we walked across the dry lagoon earlier in the day, on our return walk, which was much further than I'd thought, we had to walk around and through the water before once again braving casuarina nuts on our already tenderised feet. After our long walk earlier, we just spent the afternoon relaxing back of the boat. Now we've, I've reset the anchor at low tide so that we can pull the boat out further uh, while the tide is in, which, is, which it is at the moment. High tide's at about quarter past seven and then high tide again at about quarter to eight tomorrow morning. So that's what we're going to be looking for to make a move from here and hopefully get the sails up and do a bit of sailing. We'll um, yeah, try to stay out in some slightly deeper water so that when the, the lower of the two high tides comes in the morning we'll be able to get out of here. So our evening is just going to be spent relaxing, having a bit of a feed. I'm going to cook up some Greek style chicken, a bit of salad, just enjoy the sunset, which is pretty much done already. See you bright and early in the morning, hopefully with a floating boat ready for some sailing. Good morning. Another attempt at casting off. We floated it through the night to make sure that we'd be able to get through. Now we've just got to get back out, pulled in the rear anchor. Then we sort of, the tide and the wind was pushing us sideways and we're getting stuck again. So we're just quickly trying to pull us back out. All right, pull that in, Am. Yep. Right. Emily was struggling to pull up the anchor against the fast running tide, so I decided to use the motor to help, and this was where our morning started to go pear shaped once again. She was waiting for my instruction to finish raising the anchor, but I thought she was just pulling it up as we moved. The result? We spun on the anchor, and I thought we were getting stuck on a sandbar. What? Oh crap, the anchor, yeah, sorry. I was like, why are we going around in circles? That's why. Oh, she needs to pull up the anchor. Oh. Sorry, Am. I forgot to ask you to pull that up. And I wondered why we were spinning around in circles. It's pretty funny, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were hitting that bar. Yeah. With that situation resolved, we re-anchored in deeper water so that we could have breakfast and prepare the boat All for right, sailing. Go, yeah. Rach started on breakfast while I prepped the sails. Like it would have touched the bottom, yeah? Next thing, the metho stove flared up and Rach was calling me for help. Yeah. I turned off the stove and used a fire blanket and water to put the fire out. Luckily, there were no injuries or damage, but after that incident, we were all a bit shaken and freaked out. So I decided not to sail once again, and instead we motored back to Jacob's Well to put the boat on the trailer and take a rest day on land. At this stage, 
our sailing holiday really wasn't going to plan. Needless to say, we aren't going to use the metho stove again until I thoroughly test it off the boat and make any repairs, but that'll be for another video. Still, I'm determined to raise the sails, so after a short break to gather ourselves, we will get Lady Emma back on the water and head to another destination on Morton Bay. Sooner or later, things have got to go to plan, yeah. surely. We'll get there, we'll sail. Sorry? We'll sail. We'll get there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, like and share the video to show us some love, and we'll catch you next time.